Hey everyone, Core with Core's Baseball Card HQ. Have a, another box break. We are going, we are going back to 1993. Uh, we have a very popular, very good player coming up for Hall of Fame induction in uh, 2020. Uh, that would be Derek Jeter. His rookie card may be sitting in this box. Uh, 1993 upper deck. Um, you can get a raw card for anywhere from anywhere if on the low side, 10 bucks for a poor quality to, to 25 or 30 if you think it's going to be gradable. Uh, the PSA 10 can run anywhere. It, it, it's, it's kind of varying right now, but I mean, it's a possible two to $300 card um, based on what people are selling it for and kind of what it's being sold for. You might be able to get it in the hundreds, but PSA 10 is hard on this because of that gold border. Um, these cards do stick. Uh, sometimes they can stick to each other and have some issues. And uh, there's really not much else to the set. Some of the inserts can be fragile, and if you get them in good quality, you might be able to send them in, them in and get graded and uh, get some uh, value from there. But mostly you're here for the, the Jeter rookie. That's about it. There's not a lot of other big rookies in this series too. So we're gonna go ahead and open the box. <clears throat> we're gonna get going. Won't delay you too long. 1993, Upper Deck Series 2. This is a jumbo box. This was a Damon Adams purchase. They were on sale. And we have a lot of these packs. Now I did collect these as a kid. These were, these were, uh, these were something I did collect. I'm gonna open one pack. And see if they're stuck together, and then I might have to do uh, do something a little different to the cards because I don't. I mean, like you can bend them to unbreak them, but these feel like bricks. In fact, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to bend them a little bit to get them unsticking. Otherwise, you're gonna be hearing me stick cards left and right. Hopefully, it doesn't um, affect the value of the card too much because I'm not really doing too much to them. But let's see if I need to add a little extra. Yeah. So these are these are stuck together pretty significantly. I will try to not have too much sticking going on for you guys. That's just annoying. All right. They are, these jumbo packs are uh, all over the place. You have the team, you have the team uh, checklists. These are, I mean, uh, these were always nice. Juan Gonzalez for the Rangers here. Um, Upper Deck always had really nice, uh, uh, images for their cards. I always thought they did a great job with their photography and of course they kind of upped the game in 89 in terms of what a baseball card uh, quality was with that especially with that Griffey Jr. and that and that initial opening set. Um, there's not a lot of Hall of Famers either in this in this bottom set. I know Cal Ripken I think is at the bottom of it but I always start off with a good one. So this is a Nolan Ryan. This is the SP. They always included like an, a short like they call it an, it was an SP card. This Nolan Ryan is decent. We've got two corner dings at the bottom. Um, this was an SP6. Uh, I can't remember if they did one in 1990. I know in 91 you had the Jordan. That was the first one. 92 was it Deion Sanders. And then um, I can't, honestly, I can't remember, guys. Uh, this one's a hard one to get in a good condition because of this black border and the quality of this card. This one's not gradable, but it is one of the SP cards. The, the Series 1... SP was a, a, a combo, Robin Yount, George Brett, front and back was uh, Yount and Brett, and that was the 3,000 hit club. That was a nice one, I remember that. Now, on the rookies, so this is what the Derek Jeter is going to look like if I get one. I think there's two to three in every pack. Sometimes there's one. Uh, it's not guaranteed, but um, it's Greg Maddox, Cy Young. And it's just, you, uh, you, so you may get a couple of them and you may not, and that's what we're really looking for is the end of the pack. We have these award winners. This jumbo pack is gonna look similar with all these inserts at the back. We have an Edgar Martinez there. We have a checklist, a Diamond Debuts checklist. And then we have this on deck. Um, this is an Eric Kroos. This is an insert. And these can also be, there's a couple good players in here. Um, and then we have, uh, this actually got some wear from the sticking of the cards. Uh, not a lot of great players. Um, I mean, there, there's good players, but not a lot of, let's, we'll say valuable cards in here. Um, in that in that insert set, but if you can get one that's got uh, pristine corners and edges, you're ahead of the game. Wow. I like these foil packs, but okay, we're gonna have to break up the brick. I don't like to bend cards, but they're just they're gonna be stuck together if I don't. All right, so we have a Cubs checklist. Uh, I'm gonna kind of. The, I know that the based on what I've seen online with a couple of these jumbo box breaks, the uh, the rookies are going to be in the back, so I may actually just kind of skip to that. We'll see. Um, but these cards are just too stuck together. 
Mark Witten. Um, God, man, they, they, could they not put them straight? What was up with that? Just throwing cards left and right. There's knuckleballer Charlie Huff. This was the first year, I think, for the Marlins and the, uh, and the Rays. Like I said, the Series 2 did not have as many stars as the other ones. Um, so when you look at kind of what you're going to get out of the packs, you don't have a whole lot. Mike Robertson, there's a top prospects card. I'd love to get a, um, a Jeter right off the bat. Um, Greg Jeffries. His 89 Don Russ rookie card was quite popular. Charles Johnson, big name at the time. Dennis Eckersley. The Marlins team. There's Gary Sheffield and a Cecil Fielder. And then our final card is a Will Clark in that on deck insert set. So not a lot of value thus far in this box. Keeping all the prospects off to the side. But, and so far um, we've got four, so two per pack. Uh, if I, I mean that would based on the number of prospects in the in the set, I think that you, you would, if you get if you were to get one of each prospect, you would be do, you know you would you would probably get about a Jeter per box, just depending. All right, so I'm not again, guys. I'm sorry. These are just backwards and stuff. I'm not gonna flip them all around because I know there's not a lot of value in this set. Um, in the base set. They were, I mean, it was a cool looking design. I liked it. It was a neat looking design at the time. It was pretty popular. Upper Deck continued to do really well with their design. Um, I did have a complete set of this. I actually had, I had um, three of uh, the, uh, oh, look at that. Right off the bat, and it's damaged. Um, okay, so Barry Bonds. There's a Brodowski. There's a Bish team leaders. We have a McGuire, comeback player of the year. Still on the A's there. They're in Dalton. And then we have a Cecil Fielder, it looks like, on the on deck. And this is a bummer, guys. This is a bummer. This Jeter is looking good on top, but on the... Well, I was wrong. Wait, hang on. It's hard to tell. No, the corner's got... The corner might have a little wear to it. We can see some... You can see some chipping on the, on the top, just the white. It's not bad. The centering's not bad, but I have something on the bottom of this card, and I got it off. Nope. It is a, I don't want to scratch the card. I'm going to have to look closer. If that is just worn off, if it's a if it's a crease, if it's a bend, something's going on with the corner. I'm going to look at it closer here. It's a bend. It's a bend in the card. That's just, that stinks. Well, we got a Jeter. That's the positive. Um, uh, that my, uh, even with that little bitty flaw, it it depends on, I, I got to take a look at it. I got I to gotta go card doctor it. Um, but honestly, it actually has a little wear on the bottom edge as well. Like, there's a little white spot here at the bottom in the center. I don't know if you can see it. So, I mean, when looking at this really closely, is this a PSA 10? No. Is it a 9? Probably not. This honestly probably gets a 7. Um, if I'm, if I'm looking at it, if I'm being strict with it, they might, I mean, a generous grader might give it an 8 just because it's a hard card to grade, but I'm thinking 7 on that one, unfortunately. Now... Because I got it early on, maybe there's a there's a chance I'll get another one. I'm gonna undo this brick. Um, and when you buy these 93 cards, it doesn't matter if it's a jumbo box or if it's a. Uh, we'll get we'll separate this here. It doesn't matter if it's a jumbo box or if it's uh, a hobby box. Or just you know the retail stuff. There's Barry Bonds. And he's not my favorite player, but. He still still holds value. Um, some people still collect him, and some people think he deserves belongs in the hall. Other people don't. I uh, I'll be honest. I edge on the side of don't, but um, but I think he'll get in. I think he'll get in eventually. Those are the commons. The base, Fred McGriff, and we have a Jose Oliva prospect. There's a Fred McGriff, oh, same card. And we have two. There's a, a Kevin Stocker, Diamond Debuts. We have two cards here. We have a Carlos Delgado. This is his second year card. This is not a rookie. And Ray McDavid. Um, they did, uh, uh, I think Cliff Floyd has a second year card in here too. And though it says top prospects, their rookie cards were, um, I know they both had 92 Bowmans for sure. Brick, 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 brick. And the 
space. That's just it's a shame over time with these with this cards. I mean, these even did it back in the I mean, there's Mark McGuire. Wow, this is that's you know, the two cards I've pulled aside are McGuire and Bonds, both not in the hall for probably the same reason, otherwise they'd have already been in. Just they're uh they're uh, suspected, if not proven, but suspected if not proven, um, or admitted. Steroid use. Dan Plezik. Uh, Trevor Hoffman. Yeah, nothing in these. Sorry if I'm going quick through those guys. The base set really isn't, there isn't much to it. We have here, we have a Nolan Ryan. Now that's a good one, except we are peeled off because of the stickiness. Too bad there, that would have been a good one. Brad Pennington. Uh, Mike Neal, uh, Troy Percival, home run champion Juan Gonzalez. We have a repeat Gidal Delgado with a ding on the corner, and Darren Dalton. I do have another box of this to open. I did order two of them, so maybe I'll get a redemption with another one. I'm gonna try something different this time, guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the back where I know the rookies are. I'm gonna try to see if I can gently peel away the card there. And we have a Juan Gonzalez, home run. We have a, ooh, so gentle, Jose Martinez. Very gentle, Todd Jones, just in case, uh, just getting nervous with kind of how I was bending them earlier. Butch Husky, don't want to tear too much off that. Nolan Ryan kind of scared it out. I mean, it's a good McGuire. It's actually not bad on the uh, on the corners and stuff. That actually is not a bad, not a bad card in terms of quality, Mike Neal and the Darren Dalton. So guys, I'm not, I'm not gonna do the brick. There's not much in here. I mean, you're seeing what the cards look like. We have a, let's, let's, let's do a nice uh, Jeff Conine, who's a good player. So this is what your commons look like. And that's what the back looks like. And if you get a team checklist in there as well, they have one of the star players on there. For the Brewers here, we have uh, Pat Listash. I remember Pat Listash, and they'll tell you the number in the card. So. For the rest of the video, I'll probably go ahead and just uh, skip the boring part, and we'll get to the Jeter part. That'll probably be better for everybody. We're already 12 minutes in anyway, so that'll be a little better. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna sleep up that McGuire because it was in good shape. All right, open this little pack. I'm gonna break off the commons or the base set, and we will go with just. These. So we have another Jose Martinez and another Jose Martinez. I've seen this a lot. They do a lot of, and they, th wow, come on, upper deck. Really? Come on. Come on, 93 upper deck. That's just ridiculous. There's another Darren Dalton. I do not need that many Jose Martinez cards. All right. Very gentle on this one. So we have uh, Todd Jones prospect. And a very well-known uh, baseball card collection that and that got broken and sold into little pieces. But if you have a Dimitri Young collection card, he was he had an absolutely outstanding card collection at one point. One of the best in the no, uh, one of the best more publicly known collections at least. There's a good Clemens, but there's some chipping at the top of that one. Yeah, you you can find the Dimitri Young like PS, on the PSA cards. It'll say if it's PSA graded. Some of them actually say Dimitri Young uh, collection, which is neat. All right, so we have a Troy Percival. We have a Tyler Green. Another Troy Percival. Man, look at these repeats. I'm very disappointed. I'm disappointed until it's like a double jeter. Then I won't be disappointed anymore. Juan Gonzalez. We have the Pete Janicki. Tyrone Hill, and then another McGuire that is, in, again, in good shape. Of course, it's gonna be the McGuire that's in good shape versus the others. Nolan Ryan would have been by far the best one to have in a really good condition, but I'll, I'll check these out and see if these are actually worth anything. I just know that the uh, the sensitivity is, is significant. I'm gonna keep busting through this. Sorry, I'm doing it off camera, guys. It's just, a, it works a little faster for me this way. Hope you don't mind. All right, brick of commons. We have, it's like a Jose Canseco on the bat. We have a, a uh, Kyle Stalker right here. We have a Brent Gates, another stuck man. Look at this repeat stuff, this box is a joke in terms of what 
sometimes with like the variability. We're gonna only have one prospect in here. There's a checklist, and it's going to be a Jose Oliva, and a unfortunately very nice Jose Canseco. Actually, it has a ding on the corner. A little little chipping, but I mean these are those are really nice looking cards. Very nice looking cards. All right, I'm gonna break through this one as well. The Brick of Commons makes a loud clang as I set it down. Matt Walbeck, um, Diamond Debuts. We have a, another Matt Walbeck. Why is this not a surprise at all? They're getting doubles in every single pack at this point. Rather have the Prospects Upper Deck, Edgar Martinez. We have a Rondell White, Diamond Debuts. And then we have another Carlos Delgado. That would be the third one um, for Carlos. We have a Wade Boggs. That has a little ding on the corner there. On the um, on deck, there are some. There's a nice Ben and Mal insert set that I would love to get one of. Those are uh, kind of more like a foil, almost like the, uh, the SP, the Jeter SP quality, um, and the foil. And uh, those would be really nice to uh, get in in a good condition. We have a Rod Bolton, a Rondell White, uh, of course, another Rondell White. Why not? Gary Sheffield. Uh, we have a Matt Wallbeck. It's gonna be a Mike Neal on the prospect. And another Roger Clemens. So this jumbo, uh, this jumbo uh, box does not have a lot of variability. Um, again, I would not be complaining if, if it was all Jeters. If I was on my third Jeter, that would be nice. Brick on the ground. We have a Michael Tucker prospect. I haven't seen that one yet. And we have a Eric Kroos, a rookie of the year. Had several Dodgers Rookie of the Year back in the early 90s. Calvin Murray, I think Raul Mondesi was one. Can't remember the other one. Eric Rose, maybe, oh, Mike Piazza, maybe. Um, Cardinals. Juan Gonzalez, home run card again. Home run champion. And then a third Maguire. That's Rod Bolton. Prospects and a third Maguire. That is, and again, why is it the Maguires that are in good condition on these cards? These inserts. I've had dings, corners, chipping, uh, surface peels, except for McGuire. Is that, is that telling us something, guys? I don't know. All right, we're going 17 minutes in. We've only got a few packs left. I'll try to breeze through it. Um, Rick peeling. We have Rick Green. We have, and there's a Manny. There's a Dennis Eckersley. There's a nice Manny. And again, marred by PEDs, unfortunately. It's still a good card. Uh, his rookie year was 92, uh, he had a 92, lots of 92 uh, rookie cards, multiple, multiple sets. All right, now that's a good one. I don't think I see any issues with this one. This is a Kirby Puckett on deck. I like that one. That one's nice. We'll sleeve that one up too. Now that's a good one. That was a great player. Rest in peace, Kirby. Rest in peace. All right, trucking along. Going as fast as I can, guys. Wish it was as easy as, you know. Sifting through them. We have a John Burke prospect. Frank Rodriguez. We got four prospects in this one. Frank Rodriguez, Pirates, Mark Newfield, Benji Gill, remember him. We have a Peter Gammons inside the numbers, Delano to Shields. Son is playing for the Rangers. We have an on deck. Is that Sandberg? Yeah, Sandberg. Little ding corner everywhere. Sorry guys, not on camera. Not in not in good condition like we wanted it to be. And Brick. We have Chad Matala prospect. And of course, what would we do without another Chad Matala prospect? We have Charles Johnson again. At least we're getting four. We got four prospects in back-to-back -back packs. Frank Rodriguez. Peter Gammons, Travis Fryman. He was a big name at the time. And then we have a Roberto Alomar. This one is a little ding on the corner on the uh, on deck. We're getting an on deck just about every pack. That was exclusive, I believe, to Jumbo Packs in, in uh, Series 2. All right, I see a Ken Griffey Jr. checklist buried in there. I'm not gonna pull it out, though. All right, league leaders, we have Gary Sheffield. And then we have another Dimitri Young. Gary Sheffield again, again, why not? Rondell White, Tyrone Hill, Midray Cummings. And a um, very bent corner Alomar again. All right, guys, only four packs left. We'll get through it. We've been lucky. We got a Jeter. We did. 
It wasn't a good Jeter, but it was a Jeter. Okay, I do have a then and now on this one. This is a good one. I want to be real careful with this one. I'm going to try to peel this one off as nicely as I can. It has a corner ding, unfortunately. But a Howard Johnson. See, this is a foil. This is a very nice um, insert. Uh, obviously, the surface could be an issue. The corners are going to be an issue. Very similar to um, how you would approach the, uh, the foil SPs, especially the Jeter. Um, you're going to be lucky to get one, and then you're going to end up with like a corner ding or something. I'll still save it. It's nice. Uh, it's not, it really isn't that bad. Um, okay, so we have Edgar Martinez. Maybe Drake Cummings can go back down there. Tyrone Hill again. On the prospects, Edgar Martinez again. Matt Walbeck. So we've got three prospects in here. We have uh, Jose Oliva. Chad McConnell. Jeez. And there's a very nice George Brett that looks, and it's got a little chipping. Nice insert, though. 21 minutes in counting, guys. I'm hurrying, I promise. I promise, I promise. I'm going as fast as I can. Brick. All right, Michael Tucker. Benji Gill. Team of the uh, Expos. Manny Ramirez again. Midre Cummings again. So at least you know there's a possibility. If you buy this product, this Wade Boggs looks good. And then a Jason Beret. I remember Jason Beret. I remember that name. Um, at least you know if you're going to buy this product, you see a lot of duplicates, a lot of repeats. So if you get lucky, maybe one of those will be a Jeter. You know, maybe you'll pull multiple Jeters out of the same pack. Maybe you'll pull three in a box. It's certainly possible based on what I'm seeing right here. Um, the last, the only Jumbo box I saw was, was actually a recent break. Maybe we bought it from, you know, from David Adams at the same time. But um, here's a Rick Green. Uh, he pulled one as well. Um, it was in, I don't know what, I don't know how good of a condition it was, Midray Cummings. I did, obviously, we didn't look at the card close on the video. There's a Calvin Murray. Chad McConnell. We got one more pack to go, guys. Then we'll review. Jeff Bagwell. Is that a Daryl Strawberry? Daryl Strawberry. On deck. He still has, even though he wasn't Hall of Fame career, he was still wildly popular in his rookie year. And, and, uh, and in the card collecting world. But he just didn't have the, this didn't quite make it. To Hall of Fame status, we have Rich Becker, and we have a Chad McConnell again, going with a team of the uh, Cubs. We have a Cliff Floyd, there's a Cliff Floyd, his little edging on the bottom of his prospect card. All right, Ray McDavid, and we have a Jim Abbott, and then we have a Juan Gonzalez, which is actually in good condition on the insert. Okay, so capping this off, 23 minutes into the video, guys. Sorry, that was a long one. I will, uh, on this second box, I'll know how to speed through this. But we'll go ahead and just do the highlights here real quick. Um, we'll kind of break it down. Most of the, the ones I sleeved were inserts. We had the one SP, Nolan Ryan. It did have some dings at the bottom. We have a Jeter rookie card with a, a issue on the bottom edge and the bottom right corner. Uh, but it is a Jeter rookie. We got this very nice then and now insert. I love this insert set uh, issue with the bottom left corner, but not bad. And then we had this uh, then in, this on deck insert that was exclusive to the jumbo uh, pack. Uh, Juan Gonzalez, Wade Boggs, Kirby Puckett, and three McGuire's were all in the best condition. I'll have to look those up and see if those hold any value. And then this was the stack of prospects. This was a jumbo box, and this is how many prospects we got. So maybe not a Jeter. Uh, maybe only one Jeter, but you definitely have the possibility to get um, multiples of these cards. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. I have another box coming. Maybe we'll have better luck, and it will definitely be a faster video. See you soon.